Oh my god, the compass sensor is inside the SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch. Let's have a look in this video. We can see two band locker on the back and four screws on the back. That means this smartwatch is very similar to the Apple Watch Ultra. And this is the run button and the long button and the zero button. And this is the speaker. The power button is on the right. Let's power on the watch. A very big display. Flip from top to the down, then go to the control menu. There are a lot of functions can be added into the control menu, such as the brightness, the setting, and the kick light. You can also add other functions into the control menu. And if, if you want to remove the function from the control menu, you can long press the icon. Then you can remove the function from the control menu. The design is very flexible. Comparing to other smartwatches, this is just the most flexible function design in the smartwatch screen. You can see how flexible it was. Slide from the left to the right. You can go to the information center. Many useful information show here. Slide from down to the top. We go to the history. We show the function we use. Slide from right to the left. We can define what function can be used for this action. The function we can define for this action include highlight, blood pressure, belief monitor, and other functions such as the sports data and control music, the temp body temperature, or the weather information. It is very impressive that the SMA plus Ultra smartwatch has added the compass sensor into the watch. Now let's take a look at this function. Before we use this function, we have to calibrate the compass sensor. Just do it show on the screen. Now the sensor compass sensor is calibrated. Then when you change the direction of the smartwatch, then you show the different the 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 data will change. When I turn around the watch, the direction information is shown on the screen. The north, it has, it has two data on the screen. This is a very useful function for the outdoor sports. You won't lose if you wear this smartwatch for the outdoor activity. Now let's take a look at the Harley function. The SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch uses a true Harley sensor inside the watch. The SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch can also detect whether you wear the smartwatch correctly before the test. If you don't wear the smartwatch correctly and lost the test function, it won't show the data even you wait for one or two minutes later. You can see on the screen, there's no data come out if you don't wear the smartwatch correctly. No data come out and no test function launch. Then I will try to do a test after I wear the smartwatch on my wrist. Now I'm wearing the smartwatch. Now I launch the test. You can see the test is ongoing, the heart beating, and the data comes out very fast. Then when I take off the watch, it can detect that automatically. It's very smart. 
Another impressive feature for the SMA Plus smartwatch is that it has built a, a lot of sports style inside the watch. There are total more than 180 sports styles are available in the smartwatch. A very impressive sports function. The SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch should be the number one smartwatch that built in a lot of sport style. The SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch also has built in many, many styles. There are total eight many styles available in the watch. Comparing to other watch, the switch style is very flexible and easy to, to see. Now, let me compare the many style for the SMA Plus and the H11 Ultra. The SMA Plus Ultra smartwatch will show the many style on the screen. But we can see the many style on the H11 Ultra. That's a very big difference. One of the most important feature is the TikTok control. Connect the watch to the smartphone. You can control the TikTok video. Next video. Next video. Previous video. Previous video. And pause. Play. Sum up. Then Volume control, volume up, and sum up. It's very easy to control the TikTok video. Let me, let me see whether this function is available for the YouTuber videos. Go to the YouTuber. Lost the control function. Page up, page down. Page up, page down. And this go, go to the go to the video. Compare to the TikTok video controller. It's not very easy to control the YouTube video. This is because the. YouTube video and the TikTok video has a total different architecture. The TikTok video is more easy for the smartphone and the YouTube videos for TV or smartphone. Thank you for your watching and follow us for more videos.